So first things first, you're going to want to go in and give your tree a good fluffing. Just take those branches and move them around, filling in any gaps that you may see. This part can be pretty time consuming, but the results are most definitely worth it. going to go ahead and add my really cute tree skirt that my mom got me this year. Isn't he cute? Now is the time to add ribbon or garland. I personally love this netted burlap and you will see I also use a plaid ribbon as well. You can apply this going around your tree or you can apply it from top to bottom. Whatever you prefer. Both ways look really good but you're just going to want to play around with it until you get it the way that you like it. So first we're going to add the largest ornaments or if you decide that you want to use any picks or stems, this is also when you would need to do those as well. Now for the fun part. This is my favorite part of decorating the tree. I love looking at all of the ornaments that I've collected over the years, especially ones that have been passed down from my mama. This is my favorite thing to do. I also love adding a lot of texture to my tree, which you'll see. I have a lot of glitter, a lot of different woodland creatures, some pearls, just a lot of fun things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now I'm just going to give you an overview of the entire tree. I did want to mention that even if your tree doesn't look like something out of a magazine or something off of Pinterest doesn't mean that it's not beautiful. As long as you put your heart and soul into it and you really enjoyed putting it up, that's all that matters. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and Merry Christmas. Lightly strikes every time she